We're in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to restore a file or a server. We've got our backup that we ran just a little while ago, and now we're going to go ahead and restore it. So what you can do is you can right-click on it, and you can choose Restore Backup Sets Created by This Job. You can also double-click on the job itself, and you can see the different files that uh, we actually chose to run the backup. All right, if you expand that, you can see the backup job completed and was successful. So now we're going to go ahead and restore. Files, folders, or volumes. If I also backed up the system state, you would see that there as well as a separate category. And we're going to say uh, we can either do a search for files. If we have a lot of files, we're looking for something specific. Or we can go from a backup set or files and folder backed up at point to a point in time. We're going to choose from a backup set. That's the easiest way to go. So all we had was the temp folder. We'll go ahead and choose next. We want to restore to the original location. And we can restore files that were corrupt if we want. We'll go ahead and check that box. And we're going to uh, restore over the existing file. And we're going to, we could choose restore removable storage if this was an older server, but it's a newer one. It's 2008. And if we had a disk quota set up, we can restore that as well. So that will add to that quota. We're going to leave the restore junction points checked. Click Next. We do not need to run any commands ahead of time, but you certainly can do that. You can also set up a notification. And we've got a video on how to do that in a separate uh, section. All right, so we've got a backup job or restore job. We're just going to leave that as the default. We want it to run now. And it will also reschedule if it does not start. And there's a summary of everything that we're about to do. And we'll click Finish. So now comes our restore. It says to be scheduled, but that quickly changes to active. And now it says dispatched. So it's starting to run it, and now it says it was successful. So that is uh, restoring files and folders in Backup Exec 2014. If you had any alerts, you can also click on there. And you can uh, click on some other interesting information, such as job history as well.